This is Get to Know the Royals. Mike Foyles here with Queens Triathlon head coach, Sonny Dyer. Coach, thanks so much for coming on today. Absolutely. Glad to be here. Dyer, in his seventh year with Queens, the women have won four consecutive national championships. They won 2019 USAT overall combined national championship. Coach, you have an extensive background in all facets of every all disciplines of triathlon. So where, when did you kind of transition as an athlete into the triathlon? I know you ran cross country and track in college at Appalachian State. Uh, yeah. How did that process kind of start for you as an athlete? Yeah, I, I grew up as a high school runner, like a lot of triathletes who come from a single sport background, especially way back when I was coming up. Um, triathlon was not, was not an Olympic sport like it is today. Um, and so I came up as a single sport athlete, um, you know, kind of that uh, D1 collegiate runner that was frustrated because I was constantly working hard to get injured. And it was, you know, six months of fitness and three weeks of <laughs> injury and, you know, a lot of back and forth. What a lot of triathletes experience, you know. Um, and actually, I found you know, just through rehab and trying to stay fit for running and, and that kind of thing and not run 90 mile weeks that was, you know, getting me into trouble. I kind of found cycling first, um, which is kind of an odd path for a triathlete because of this two single sport disciplines. Most triathletes come to triathlon through either running or cycling, not through, right. I mean, I'm sorry, running or swimming, not through cycling. I came to triathlon having been a runner but came, came to it through cycling. So, uh, you know, fast forward 25 plus years and with the emergence of the draft legal format and how that's now the NCAA sport and all the tactics that that takes, uh, team tactics that that takes very much like cycling, it actually ended up being an asset. So it was kind of a blessing <laughs> in disguise. Yeah. My path, you know, to triathlon was. So, yeah. yeah. And that kind of leads to my, my next question. I was going to kind of ask, how is the recruiting process of going after kids that might have one or two of the disciplines down, but maybe, maybe they're a great runner and cyclist, but they don't swim. I mean, yeah. how is that? Yeah, that's a great question because that was very early on in my early days at Queens. One of the big opportunities that I saw at our institution was the partnering with the swim program and what kind of leadership and expertise. I mean, at the time when I came to Queen, David Marsh was here, Jeff Dugdale was here, John Long was here. I mean, we had some, we had, you know, it's literally one of the finest swim development uh, pieces, uh, places in the world. If, if you were between the ages of 17 and 22 years old. And so what I knew coming from a running and a cycling background was, boy, when I was, 20 years old, wouldn't I like to have had a place where I could go and develop my swim to fully make my game complete in leaps and bounds? And there's a ton of triathletes out there who come from that, you know, that running type background who have a great degree of fitness and they just needed that piece. Um, right. and so, you know, with my background in running and cycling, you know, both, you know, collegiately as D1 as a runner and professionally as a cyclist, and then on to professionally as a triathlete, I saw this opportunity to kind of, you know, access what the swim expertise was here at Queens and capitalize on it and, and effectively use it as a recruiting tool. And that's, that's essentially what's happened. I mean, I could, I could name for you guys and gals who have come to Queens as Division One runners. Well, Jack Felix was our, our, you know, one of our male national champions. You know, uh, back in 2019. I mean, he ran at Clemson. Uh, he yeah. went through USA Triathlon's collegiate development uh, program um, and just didn't get the swim results that he needed. Gave us a shot, kind of on a whim. You know, for grad school, became a collegiate national champion and led us to our first men's team victory. So. Uh, that's been a big piece to us or the, just the excellence that I was already at Queens, you know? Yeah, no, absolutely. That, that's awesome to see both programs kind of working together, uh, to make each other better. And uh, well, what's kind of, what's, what's maybe the most important concept you try to, to teach to your athletes? You know, what's kind of overall something broad? Uh, definitely, definitely teamwork because triathlon, uh, 
you know, when, when kids grow up either, you know, doing triathlons, if they do triathlons on their own, or even dabble in triathlons, having come from a swimmer, run background, that kind of thing, it's typically a solo sport. It's an individual sport. They may be a part of a team or a developmental program, but it's never scored as a team until they get to college. And right. so, you know, and in addition to that, you know, we have 23 international students from 19 different countries in a program of 44 kids, 44 student athletes. So you're not just taking, you know, athletes who come from a single sport or single discipline or solo existence and throwing them together as a team, but you're throwing so many cultures from so many continents in on a team. And, you know, what would seemingly be the most challenging piece of the whole pie, that is actually one of also the most rewarding, you know? Yeah. Uh, just the way that they kind of just rediscover the sport through the team aspect of it has been one of the eye openers, not just for me, but for all of them as well, you know? Yeah. What's your uh, last uh, question? We can steer away from uh, into more something more personal. What's your favorite hobby outside of anything training, anything oh sports? <laughs> Ooh, outside of sports, I was gonna say mountain biking. <laughs> that's my new, that's oh, my what's new, when you're biking yeah. for fun? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I don't know, man. That's a that's a really good question. Um, I think you know it's interesting. I think uh, throughout coronavirus here. Um, as a coach, as a head coach, been so busy for the last, you know, five years in first program building and then getting close but not getting quite there and then making the leap to get there and then all that that entails and everything. Um, a lot of times our spouses can pay the price for that process. So I think one of the things that I've kind of recognized over the past six months is just how much I enjoy <laughs> my wife and how much she puts up with not just me, but this whole family of a team kind of thing. So absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. This has been Queens triathlon head coach, Sonny Dyer. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for coming on today. This absolutely. Is, this is awesome. Thanks Mike. <laughs>